Welcome everyone, you amazing people. I really appreciate all the support you and giving me so far. True Fight Gaming here. Some Final Fantasy VIII. Triple Triad. Let's get straight into it, guys. I'm just going to go over the basics. In the last episode that I did with Triple Triad, we went over the basics and how to card mod and how to get some bomb cards so that we can start off our collection. And this one, we're going to be trying to get some better cards. Not the best, but some decent cards. I would say mid-level. So we're trying to get sevens. So what you want to do to get Malbra and everything, you want to take a look at my last triple triad and go win over in Malbra and how to get to that stage. And then this is going to be how to get to some level six or seven cards. I believe that's the range we're going for at that time and how I really break down the triple triad game. But this is going to be in times two, so hopefully you don't get too much of a headache. It's going to be really fast on how to fight against the teacher here and then we're going to go and get Zhao's card and then in the next episode that I bring out we're going to show you some of the other cards like Quistis and where to get the really cool cards and then we'll go through some battle systems and some weapons and we'll take it from there guys. Thank you. 
Okay, so here we want to make sure you got some level 7s here. This is going to really help. We're going to use Malbro. Then we're going to go ahead and use, depends who you really want to use, then Avali, because you've got your 6 and 7, or you can use Ifrit and just put them in the bottom right hand corner. Or you can use a fake out and put your lowest one in the middle and then just go around the edge. There we go. And just try and take the cards. There we go. He's going to take one. You're going to take either one or two back. There we go. We win. There we go. It's pretty easy, guys. Hope you can win some more cards and I'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. 
So guys, we're gonna go out to the guy here and we're gonna try and win some Malboros, Everlights and Iron Giants from him. He doesn't always play them, you have to play him quite a few times before he starts playing his higher level cards. But all in all, he's pretty decent once you've got quite a few cards from him. You can actually break them down into pieces that you need, especially if you can find the screws from the from the geezer card, guys. We want to get some screws for later and some other items. So it's good now to get quite a few different cards here. We've got another Iron Giant there. We're going to need that for some weapon upgrades later on. You don't really need to upgrade your weapons in this particular game because in this Final Fantasy game, it's more of the magic and the system that is made. Each each one has a different way of building the character. So, so what I really liked about this game is it had a really fun mini game, which I has got to be one of my favourite ones out of all of them. It's just something you can do for hours and hours and just not care about it. Each Final Fantasy does find its way to your heart through its mini games. I do believe that what keeps you playing it over and over again you know you can just play like any game and just enjoy it it's really cool hope you're enjoying this guys leave it a like and a comment down below share it to your friends appreciate it guys Okay, we're going to go out of garden and then we're going to go to the 
edge of the map where we were. Go to Zal's mom's house. It's not this one, it's the next one. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and we're gonna go over how to beat Zal's mom. But we should be okay because we've got enough cards. We use Ifrit, we use the Everlet, and we use the Sterilite and the Marlboro card to get it. We've got some high level sevens. So what you want to do is you wanna always put either the Everlight in this corner here to take Zal. And then you wanna just take one of his cards at the top. So then you're guaranteed at least two cards there. And then you wanna just keep taking your cards back. There we go. So you can't get Zal and you can't get that giant. So then we're gonna put Ifrit at the bottom. So we've now got four cards. And then Malbro, there we go, six, four. Got Zal's card and any other card. I'd always go for the Iron Giant or the Everlight. There we go. That was pretty decent. I just want to go over a quick way of using Zal and a threat together. And then we're good to go. Enjoy, guys. I hope you enjoyed this so far. It's been really cool. So, for Zal, then, he's a really good kind of mid and top level card can't really be placed in the mid too much but on the sides I guess you could put him there but he's more of a, a mid because he's got the eight and the ace so you want to put him in the middle so you don't want him to be taken out first so you kind of want to put him in last or first against another card like this so we go a lot of draw there but uh, you see what I'm trying to say is just be careful when you're placing your cards and back to the game I guess enjoy guys Okay guys, I just want to go over the modding. You got some cards here, I'm going to mod them into the items that you need. As you can see, some take about 5 to 10 cards, and that's why we're going to be getting the Ruby Dragons, Elmoid, and the Iron Giant cards for the Star Fragments for later on guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you've made it through to this. Thanks for watching, share to your friends and catch you in the next one guys.